Welcome back to Boomer's Playground, and today we'll be going over coding exercise 28 from the Cold Steel Web Developer Bootcamp. So this one is going to be about nested arrays. Um, I do see a lot of questions about this in the Discord group, um, and I do understand because this is... Um, I remember learning this stuff too, and this was a little confusing for me. So, and it, you know, because you have an array within another array. So um, they provided us with airplane seats, so we're pretending this is an airplane, and it represents the rows, so this is one row, this is another row, another row, so on and so forth. And there's one middle seat available, that's going to be this null one. Update the array that's null to be Hugo. So um, don't change the code here. Um, like they always say, don't do that. So um, I don't know why Hugo would want to be at the back of the plane in the middle, but apparently he wants to be there. So let's find out how to put him there. Okay, so we have our we have our array, and airplane seats gives us, you know, like I said, an array of arrays. All right. So we know to get access to things inside of our, an array, you use. Um, use the open and closing brackets. So we knew that in a string or in our leaderboard one, you know, we start at zero and we go to the end, but this is arrays in arrays. So I'm not really sure how this works. So we can Google, um, but we already know that like a number needs to be in here. So let's let's just put a number in there and let's just see if we can't figure it out. So this is a lot of what coding is. A lot of times people will go to the Discord, they will share, you know, they'll share a screenshot or a camera picture image of this and be, how do I solve this? And unfortunately for me, that makes me think they've done no work whatsoever and I just have a hard time helping that. Um, I want you to at least try, and you should want to try. Now, if you get to a point where you can't figure it out, that's fine. It's perfectly okay to ask for help. But at least now you can come to the channel and be like, hey, here's what I tried. Now we can look and we can see where, where the thought process was wrong, and there's nothing wrong with that. But like, that's how you get better, is we need to see what you thought was going to work why you thought that was going to work, and then we can correct your understanding of the things you were trying to use. So, um, sorry, that was just a little side tangent. All right, so we have our array name, and then again, we know this is kind of how we access things, and then zero is the first thing, so let's just see zero, and I'm kind of thinking we should probably get Ruth, but let's find out what we get. Okay, um... I mean, <laughs> Ruth is in there, but what we actually got was the full array. And by the full array, I just mean this array. Okay. Um, I guess that kind of makes sense because it's an array of arrays. So technically the first item in the airplane seats array is this entire array. Because again, remember you can do um, you can do arrays in arrays. So it'd be like you know array oh, that is not array array and then array array array. So the first item in this main array is an array. We don't really care what's in there. We just know hey, grab that first array. Same with this. This will be at index one. This will be at index two. So let's see if that's factual. So we knew airplane seat zero gives us that first array, Ruth, Anthony, Stevie. Okay. So we go to one. And what do we get there? We get Amelia, Pedro, Maya. All right. We get two. We get Xavier, Ananya, Luis. And three. We get Luke, Null, and Denise, Denise, Denise. And looks like we got one more. And that'll be Rin, Sakura, and Francisco. All right. So I think this is the one we want. So we want airplane seats three. 
Okay, so how do we change this? I wonder if... So remember before we used to be able to do, or I shouldn't say we used to be able to, but we did this to solve a problem, right? We found a spot in the array and we just set it equal to whatever we wanted that new value to be. So I wonder if this would work. Um, so three is gonna be the actual array itself. So we just wanna replace one spot in that array. So maybe we just give it an array and we do Luke, Hugo, and we do Denise, or Denise, okay. Um, let's see what your plain seats are. Oh, snap. Okay, so it looks like it did work. Okay, cool. So so that's that's definitely one way to do it. Um, this is, I only showed this way because I was helping somebody last week with the same challenge, and this is what they did. And while well, technically this is, Okay, and I'd be willing to bet it works. Let's find out. Let's see. Luke Hugo. Hugo and Denise. All right, let's see if that passes. Again, I think it will, but I want to show you the another way. Okay, so that did that did satisfy it. So let's actually, I'm gonna refresh this page so we can use um, this airplanes again. So that was definitely one way to do it. And uh, I don't know that I would say it's wrong, but if you were to do something like that, um, like for a merge request with a company, they're probably gonna kick that back because it's really not the way you want to do it. So we know airplane seats three gives us that array that we want. Now what if we only wanted to target this middle guy here? Well, airplane seats is technically an array, or sorry, air, airplane seats at index three is technically an array. So do you think we could kind of chain these on? And it looks like we can, so now two. Okay, so we can actually grab nested items. So here is, you know, item three, and then we're grabbing item two from this array. Okay, well, let's see if that works. Here we go. So you go here, so let's grab airplane seats, and let's see what we got. And awesome, so we still got Hugo in there, but we didn't have to do the whole array. And so a reason that you might want to do that is, um, I mean, let's be realistic. How many times have you guys seen me um, make typos just going through these, you know, these exercises with you guys? By doing all this extra work, I have a far greater chance of making a typo somewhere. So what we really want to do is we want to grab the specific thing or the specific spot and only change that one. And then I'm far less likely to have a typo. I'm far less likely to throw an error. And you'll see right here that that does satisfy the test. It does pass. So um, again, there, I would, as somebody who's learning, this first way right here, I would not consider this wrong. Now, if you bring this to me, that's fine. And we'll go, you know, I would go over it with you and I, I would show you like, this is actually how we want to do it. This isn't wrong, but you're never going to do something like this, or let me not say never, but you're super unlikely to do something like this in production. So again, it does work, but I just wanted to show you guys kind of the process that I went through last week with somebody when I was helping them with this. So. Um, I hope you guys learned something today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.